Porcupine Mountains. Uh, it's a pretty good drive, two and a half hours from Hayward. End of time change. End of time change, just barely, so that's great. But um, definitely one of the few people that are out here actually out in the wilderness, not on a snowmobile. <laughs> a lot of snowmobilers here at the trailhead at uh, Porcupine Mountain State Park. There's two other cars in the parking lot that aren't people that work here. So hopefully you should enjoy it. It's snowing out. It snowed last night. Um, starting off here. So just heading out from the visitor center to help us out a little bit where to go. There's a lot less trails accessible during the winter than what there is in the summer. But um, we are gonna check it out and I'll show you some more here coming soon. Look at that little stream. It's not even froze over. Oh wow. Cool. Black bear. <laughs> Too quiet for you? <laughs> yep. Complete silence. Well, so far we're a couple miles into our snowshoe. Uh, there's some fresh snow a couple inches, so that makes it better, but for the most part we've been hiking down probably an old service road or a service road but super peaceful quiet uh, we saw six cross-country skiers in a row one taking a sweet biff coming down the hill but uh, besides that it's been super peaceful and quiet and, uh, yeah we still got some more to go but uh, peacefulness definitely checks the box for uh, Porcupine Mountain State Park. So, more to come. Still little depressions. Water down there, that's crazy. I can see how in the summer it would get flooded out. We're like in higher elevations too. That's a clock for the winter. I hear you on that one. <laughs> Little mouse tracks. And then pops out over there. <laughs> so 
so that's the first half day here, Porcupine Mountains, we made it. Pretty good snowshoe. Um, there was a groomed trail for the most part, but it snowed a little bit. But a lot up. All we did is go up uh, for most of it. But uh, it was pretty unreal that not very many people once you got back down here by the information or the visitor center, whatever's open in the winter, you could hear snowmobiles. But once you got a little ways away, it was super, super peaceful and quiet. Imagine if you're out cross country skiing, like I said, we only saw those six or eight people or whatever it was for a little bit, and then we saw nobody else again. So we explored a little portion. We're going back here to the American and Silver Bay, and then we'll uh, get another little session in the morning down by the lake. So, see you in the morning. Snow still falling. tracks or deer tracks? Yeah, good call. More animals down by the lake. View the lake. Good morning, morning, y'all. We are uh, down here at the deer trail. It's been snowing all night. Looks like they probably got like an inch or two of snow. We're down here by Lake Superior along the deer trail. Um, not as much snow as up on the mountain, of course, but uh, definitely for snowshoeing, we really enjoyed it so far. There's less skiers, less ski tracks down here. There is a trail that they made, but it doesn't look like anybody's been skiing here, but I'm down here by the lake. Gone a little ways, we just checked out the yurt, which actually looks really cool. It's got a sweet views of the lake. It's right on the edge, so more to come. like there's like an axe and saw provided what's that Size. yeah for me and you it's that giant fire pit Sun, or white pines. <laughs> Some kind of fir tree.
for Got to see a deer, got to see a woodpecker. Um, I believe it was a pretty good trip out here, I'd say, right, Ashton? <laughs> That'd be a yes. Um, definitely some things to do. Less trails during the winter. A bunch of people skiing, especially in the morning when we got here. Um, but this was Deer Yard Trailhead, and then I think a little bit of a a little bit of the lake trail down by Lake Superior, which was nice and peaceful. Uh, not till the very end did we see like two or three cross-country skiers, so once again, super peaceful. Um, if we did it again, I think we'd maybe rent a cabin down by the lake would be super sweet to pack in there, ski in there or whatever, and stay there. Looked pretty good. Uh, didn't see anybody there, but the yurts down by the lake looked super cool, so good time. Thanks for watching.